here's an interesting lick, I think, from uh, a video. Isaac from France asked me if I would break down this lick, so I thought, let's do that. Um, the tab for this will go up on Patreon. You can join Patreon for £2 a month, or £3, or £5, however much you feel comfortable paying. You basically get access to all of the stuff except for the full transcriptions, which is just for the £5 guys. But anyway, let's get into the lick. I thought this was quite a cool little one. It took me a little while to get my head and fingers around it, but let's just get into it. This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favourite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. things here is that we're really going to be starting kind of midway through a phrase but we're going to be counting one two three four and just before the next one so on the four four e and uh, one two three four e and uh, that's one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a Like that is going to be how we start our lick. So just kind of think about how you're going to start that one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and you maybe want to start with an upstroke. Okay, so we start on B8. What's going on? All right, I better say by this. So if we kind of our first bar then after the pickup starts on the tenth fret, ten eight. And then we do this little thing. One, two, three, four. That's phrase one. So that's kind of one of my little pentatonic sort of things that I do all the time. Ten, up to eleven, back down to ten, eight, and then we reach into the seventh, which is like the hexatonic note, seven, eight, seven, 
ten, eight, ten. And here is where we start to blend three note per string pentatonic stuff. Eight, twelve, eight, ten. And that completes the first bar. One, two, three, four. And then our next bar. Twelve, eight, twelve, eight, ten, twelve. Then doubling, so doubling, eight, eleven, like that, so. And then eight, eleven, ten, eight, and there's that hexatonic note again. Eleven, eight, ten. And then I jump back up to the twelfth fret and back down to double to the eighth fret. going to be important to kind of figure out the fingering of that. And then eight. Eight, eight, ten. And then kind of pinch harmonic on the eight. Down to the fifth fret. Eight. Five, eight, five. Eight, five, eight, six, eight, six, six, eight. So all together, one, two, three, four, and. A bit slower again. One, two, three, and a four, e and a. One, two, three, and a four, e and a. And a four, you know, back up to speed a bit once you get it under your hands. Do it, you know, little bit by little bit. One, two, three, and a four, and and a four, and I'm going to talk to you now about how to place it a little bit, but the tab will be up on Patreon with the backing track. Hopefully that's kind of a fun one. In terms of picking, I'm picking like string changes, kind of economy style, rather than every single note. Um, but that one was for Isaac. Patreon will be the place to get the tab and the backing. I hope that was an interesting one. What you might want to do also is move it into different keys. Try that. Catch you in another video soon. Cheers. Just as important as learning the lick is learning where to place the lick. So I'm going to be really careful to count here and tell you as I'm thinking about how I'm going. So. Two, two, three, four. So we've got two bars on each chord. Four, one, two. And it's going to come after the four in the first bar. So here is where I'm starting to think two, three, four. So when I hear the first C minor, one, two, three, four. And then it's 
get a line. takes quite a lot of concentration certainly as I'm talking it through at the same time that makes it really difficult that's the basic gist of it is that I'm listening for when the C minor happens and that starts me counting what one two three four <laughs> then I know I'm gonna land in the right place.